Okay. So you have understood everyone what is ascending order, what is descending order, right? We will start now with the next question and then we are about to finish with this exercise 1.2. Now let us start. Now here we have to write the last question. Write the smallest and the largest seven digit number okay. using each of the digit repeating any number of criteria is given to you repeating any one of the digit okay only one okay here we write the smallest and the largest seven digit number using each of the digit repeating any one of the digit only one now let's start how to do this so here number is 9 8 2 0 4 7 okay now i want smallest number as well as largest number now when i'm talking about smallest number and largest number and here you have to uh, repeat and you have to make a seven digit number you have to count the digits over here 1 2 3 4 5, 6. Correct? It is only 6 digit number. We have to make it into 7 digit. But we can repeat any one of the digit only once. So how we are going to do with this? Now first you arrange the digit. Okay? With like yesterday, they, uh, in yesterday's I think uh, previous chapter, uh, previous lecture I have told you how we can arrange the numbers when there is a 0. So 2 will come first. Now 0. Now when we have to repeat any digit once, here we are going to repeat number 0. Why? Because when we are making a smallest number, that time the smallest number should be repeated. So here I will repeat number 0. So it will become 200, okay, 200, sorry, 4, 7, 8, 9. So your number becomes now 20 lakh 4789. What will happen if we will repeat number 2? If I repeat number 2, then see the change. Then the number becomes 22 lakh. 22 lakh is more than 20 lakh if you will compare. It is more. And we don't want a largest number. We want to form a smallest number. So, we have to repeat the number which is a smallest. Now here 0 is the smallest number. So we are going to repeat number 0. Similarly, and it is made a 7 digit number if you will count. Similarly, we will start with 7, 4. Now here, if you will see, 7, 4. Okay. Now which is that? Uh, 7, 4, no, sorry, 9. Now here the largest number we have to repeat. So 9, 9, 8, 7, 4, 2, 0. Okay. So which number you will get now over here? 9, 9, 8, 7, 4, 120. So your answer becomes now 99 lakh 87,420. Next. One, three, zero, five, four, six. The smallest number. Again, three you will write one, two you will repeat. Uh, sorry, one you will write one, two zero you will repeat. Three, four, five, six. The number form is ten lakh three thousand four hundred fifty-six. The largest number. How I am going to get a largest number over here? So six. So six is the largest number. Repeat it twice. 5, 4, 6, 6, 5, 4, 
थ्री जीरो सी वेदर यू गॉट लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑन वन वन सॉरी वेट सिक्स सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री वन जीरो तो सिक्सटी सिक्स लैक फिफ्टी फोर थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड टेन ओके कॉपी डाउन दिस नंबर I hope everybody is understanding this sum. Okay. Now, very shortly, before we start with exercise 1.3, we have to understand what are Roman numerals. So today I will give you a basic chart of Roman numerals. Okay. I will show you what are the Roman numerals. these are nothing but the signs and symbols okay used in math most of the time you must have seen these roman numbers are uh, seen uh, for in for giving any sign when we say standard we say no one two so we'll see what are these roman numerals okay there are some basic symbols and this uh, system was used in ancient rome that's why it is known as roman number system okay let us study today this basic thing of roman number system so it consists of nothing but some sign i v x l c m d according to this we can form any form of number but now what does this i mean what does this b mean what does x mean what does l mean huh? so we will study one I means one, V means five, X means ten, L means fifteen, C means hundred, M means five hundred, and D means thousand. Okay, you understand this much Roman number system. In the next class, I'll give you more detail about this system. Okay, children. Thank you.